Hey everyone, it's the Axle Shifter here, and I'm back with another Multiverse Wars episode, episode number 37. And in today's battle, it's going to be a battle between the spatial females. We have Miss Martian versus Sailor Mars. But Miss Martian has several different versions from the DC Multiverse, so this Miss Martian is going to be focusing specifically on the version from the Young Justice TV show. So... Without further ado, huh? Yeah. I mean, we already have Sailor Mars, which is already from Sailor Moon she's from, so... Yeah, let's, let's get straight into this. Let's see who would win this fight. Miss Martian, a real name McGann Morse, also alias name B. McGann Morse, is a Martian and a member of the team. She is the niece and former protege of the famous Martian Manhunter. And just like Martian Manhunter, Martians are extremely powerful and have a wide array of different abilities. But now you know about her basic origin, we're discussing those powers and abilities right now. And they're really impressive. For starters, she has the ability to fly, shapeshift, meaning that she can impersonate anyone, add additional arms, meaning that she can grow extra limbs through her body, can phase through solid objects, can use telepathy, telekinesis, energy projection as she has been shown to create telekinetic shockwaves and storms to lift up objects, mind manipulation as she's shown to destroy Aqualad's mind, basically turning him into a vegetable, and brain blasts Pfizer and leaves him some alien contact, and memory manipulation as she was capable of fixing Aqualad's mind by piecing his memories back together after she destroyed Aqualad's mind and illusion creation as she can create illusions for her opponent to make sure that she can see things that never even happened in the first place. Now let's talk about specific stats for her, like speed for example. She's easily capable of exceeding supersonic speeds and combat reactions, as she is comparable to Artemis who can easily dodge various other different attacks such as bullets, energy blasts, and other things. She is also pretty durable as she did survive a casual hit from Superman. Now. A casual hit basically means that he didn't actually go all full out on her, it was just pretty casual. But still, surviving a single hit from Superman without at least getting heavily injured is still really impressive, but still, she is a Martian, so naturally she should be very powerful and durable. As she also has so many different powers that she can easily rival Kryptonians or even Superman the future as Almost no one could beat her in a fight due to her all times different powers and abilities being so much more powerful than the average being. And on top of that, she also has her famous bio ship. This ship allows her to go wherever she wants at super fast speeds without having to get in herself into a battle. She could easily just use her bio ship to contract weapons in the ship itself, so therefore she wouldn't really have to go into battle by herself physically in person, more direct for say. She's also shown to be very intelligent as seen throughout several points throughout the show as she can think of several different battle strategies to win and is just generally smarter than the average human because, well, Martians in general are pretty intelligent because, yeah, they're a very powerful life form in the DC universe. But as for her weaknesses, for one, it's fire because, you know, Martians are vulnerable to it, even Martian Manhunter himself. And she's even sometimes afraid to use her telepathic powers because it has shown to have consequences like when you use it on Superboy. And it caused Superboy to temporarily break up with her. And when she used it on Aqualad, she basically kind of tore apart the team for a bit. But due to her powers, abilities, feats, and intelligence, I think it's safe to say that this fire weakness kind of really doesn't matter for the most part. Rei Henyu is the civilian identity of the present day Sailor Mars. She is a shrine princess who lives at the Hawaki Shrine with her grandfather and Crows, Bohos, and Demos in the manga. But now let's talk about her powers, abilities, and feats. For one, she can planetly absorb the energy around her planet, meaning that she can channel powers from her planet, and she also has heat magic 
fire magic, including fire attacks, and can have several different spells that she can create on a whim. She even has the power to fly, dimensionally deconstruction, force field creation, can laser project attacks, can teleport, and can even travel to different dimensions. And as for her speed, she should be superior to pre Hessian Manigo, as she is capable of having a spread on attack throughout the infinite universe, and also possibly a lot more higher combat speed, as she was capable of easily being comparable to Eternal Sailor Moon, who were able to travel to traverse the galaxy in a panel. And as for her lifting strength, it should be around at least Class G because she was capable of moving around on a planet with intense enough gravity, not even enough light could escape it, so that would mean that she is extremely strong just by herself. And she also has her transformation pen, this first magical transformation pen that Madiko had used. It allows her to transform into a regular standard sailor form. She sacrificed her pen in order to awaken Sailor Moon, who was awakened up to a talent time at the time, but she can still use it for the sake of this battle. She is also fairly intelligent, as she did attend a private school for girls only, and Rei also possesses extraordinarily persistent ability to read flames, fire reading, and also giving her some prognative abilities. But as for weaknesses, she can easily be startled against less professional opponents, you could say that, and has difficulty adapting to rapidly changing situations. And also, the Sailor Crystals contain the power of their planet, and will destroy the barrier's fanets if they're physically removed. So, yeah. But overall, she is still extremely powerful in her own right. And now it's time we talk about who would win in this battle, between Miss Martian and Sailor Mars. And now it's time we talk about who would actually win this fight. Now, this battle would be very close considering that Sailor Mars is faster than light, while as Miss Martian in the show has only been traveling around at least supersonic speed, so... I mean, he is pretty durable on her own, but she can very easily turn invisible, like Miss Martian can turn visible in the show, and she could possibly actually be capable of destroying her mind very far away without her being able to be seen by Sailor Mars, so this would be a very close fight considering that not only is Sailor Mars fast and light, but she also has her very own magic, like, pen and stuff, so that would be really useful against Miss Martian for a while, but eventually I would have to say that Miss Martian would be able to get the upper hand in the long run and be able to crush and destroy her mind right then and there, just like how she did with Aqualad. And she quite possibly might even be able to also just simply read Sailor Mars's mind and see what battle tactics is going to use next. Is she is fairly intelligent after all? I mean, Miss Martian is highly intelligent. So, yeah, the winner is Miss Martian after a certain amount of difficulty. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and goodbye.